All right, so to watch this video for Friday, July 13th, Friday the 13th, you wanna be careful trading tomorrow if you're superstitious. Uh, showing you the SPY here, it's really had trouble with this 280 area. Um, it hit it back here, here, here. Some might argue you kind of have maybe an inverse head and shoulders going on or sort of a cup and handle. So maybe we're poised for another breakout, but there's a lot of uh, macro news that could slap this market around either way for a while. So always wanna be careful, but um, Anyway, here's the watch list that I'm going into Friday. IZEA, uh, huge volume day, 54 million shares, closing really right at its highs. Definitely worth watching for a follow through day tomorrow. BBOX is still that. I talked about this one in the last couple of videos. It, it, it's really not um, a clear chart. You had the big sell off and then the, then the rally, and now it's just kind of settling into this area. So I don't love it. It's not like near breakout territory, but it's also holding up pretty well, right? After this gap up here, then this gap, you kind of have a little cup and handle here. Certainly kind of interesting. These are 15 minute candles over the 240 area. Maybe it retests and breaks above that 260. Um, what do they announce a deal, a uh, big contract with a major social media company is how it was worded or something like that. Anyway, certainly worth watching. Um, S-T-A-F. Um, this one I had on Bounce Watch for today. You had this huge move in two days. Or I really like this setup. See how the two lower days are on uh, declining volume? I really like this setup. Um, and it reminds me a little bit of uh, another chart I'm going to show you, that MTSL. Um, so anyway, this was on watch today. And I'll slide this over just to show you as a day trader how you can be liquid and get in and out of stuff. Uh, there's I made, what, $1,139.50 on this trade alone. And I just called this in chat on a five minute buy setup. These are five minute candles. This was the opening candle today. Then it looked like it was rolling right back over. So I didn't do anything with it. And then I look again and it's right back up. So it's really coiled. It's going to break one way or the other, it seems. And so I called it on a five minute buy setup. But just right over this candle's high, there's the entry. You can see the massive volume that came in. Is that uh, over half a million shares in five minutes. So plenty of liquidity. You know, I don't mess with the stuff that's traded 80,000 shares in the morning, right? Plenty of liquidity and a quick, um, you know, a uh, quick 1100 bucks in my pocket within a few minutes. So uh, believe me, if this would have kept going, I would have made a lot more. But um, the very next candle, it kind of started to top out and work its way back down. So I always keep some hoping for the accidental home run um, unless it gets back to my entry, which it did. So the last little bit I was out flat, but it sold a big chunk into that rally and had a nice little trade there. So. Um, I show you that because I, I want to, um, I'm going to allude to that a little bit when I show you ST, uh, I'm sorry, M MTSL in a little bit later in the video, uh, but I still want to watch this one. I don't like it anywhere near as much as I did coming into today though, because you had the rally and then you had it come all the way back down. Um, so I don't know. I, I, I still want to watch it because it did give me a nice trade, but I don't like it as much. Um, BIOC had this big volume spike gap down today but still closed above its open. And look what it did on an intraday basis um, in the afternoon. Look at that volume spike. I saw this, I could have got in before it broke the earlier high and I hesitated a little bit and then it went without me, but that's a nice move. And anytime you have a stock that you know has this big squeeze like this, as a day trader, you wanna keep that on watch for the next several days. And if you were, um, you know, if you were kind of right on it, right on the edge of your seat and ready, you could have seen this volume got in anywhere around here anticipating the high of day break and then the seven break. You know, we like stacked catalysts. If you watch my videos at all, could have got in anywhere in here and sold for, you know, really nice profit in a very short period of time. Um, but because of this intraday action and it did kind of roll over at the end of the day, we want to keep this one on watch tomorrow. So that's why it's on the list. Um, let's see, MTSL. And this is what I was talking about when I showed you uh, STAF. This one's a little different because it's fairly close to a round trip, but you had this huge move, then the gap up, and then two nasty red days. Didn't quite round trip, so if it is gonna bounce tomorrow, it is in that area between the eight and the 20 day. So just like STAF coming into today, I'm gonna be watching MTSL to see it gives maybe a similar setup tomorrow. Um, BLIN had the gap up and then reversed. Red day, red day, almost a gap fill. Had this on watch today, but it didn't give any kind of trigger. Um, and so it goes back on watch. I'll watch this one more day to see if it can bounce tomorrow. Uh, PIXY. PIXY is kind of coming out of, uh, we're trying to come out, trying to break out of this consolidation, a uh, little extra volume, kind of a nasty day-to-day -day reversal, but 
I believe they had earnings in after hours and it ended up closing after hours or I don't even know if after hours is closed. Maybe it's eight o'clock right now. So um, at 308. So the most recent high was 307, which was today's high. Let's go to five minute candle. So this is what it did today. Kind of popped out of the gate, put in a lower high, then rolled over. But then in after hours, it ends up trading um, again somewhere around 308. We don't know where it's going to open tomorrow, but well, uh, if it does open kind of up over three, after earnings, because now we've got news in the bank, this one might uh, might give a nice little squeeze. So we're going to watch this one closely tomorrow after the open. And then BDR had this pop, an inside red day, and then almost right back up to near recent highs. So this one looks poised for a possible rip. And that's the entire list. Um, it's a pretty short list, actually, for me. And uh, we'll be watching these, and we'll also add some gappers in the morning as well. Um, tomorrow is Friday, so this weekend's coming up. It's a great time to study trading. Uh, very fr very proud of our trading course we put together. There's a link below um, to our, we're still, we continued our July 4 special through the end of this weekend. And then it's over. You won't find a better deal. And uh, it, we've gotten 100% positive reviews on the course, so we're very proud of it. Also a link for the chat room and also a link for all of our free webinars if you want to spend the weekend studying free stuff. All right, so check below for those links. I'm going to quit babbling. See you guys tomorrow.